Welcome, Mr. Handicapper. Are you ready for the Breeders' Cup? I know I'm ready for the Breeders' Cup. I'm going to be posting full field analysis for several of the Breeders' Cup races uh, starting next week. So stay tuned for that. If you have not subscribed, I ask that you hit the subscribe button. Click on all notifications so you can be instantly notified when my picks are posted for Breeders' Cup weekend. Let's take a look at race number 10 on Saturday. Belmont at Aqueduct. It's the grade 2, 49 mistakes. It's one mile. Purse of $300,000. Let's look at the field. At 12 to 1 is the one horse, Double Crown. Double Crown is taking a big step up in this race. A couple back. One at a mile of 16 at Pimlico. Last time out, Double Crown finished third. But uh, he won this race last year back when it was called the Kelso. Double Crown is going to need a fast pace. One thing's for sure about Double Crown, he stays busy. This is his 15th race this year, and last year he ran 14 different races. Getting 12 to 1 on the one horse, Double Crown. At 5 to 2, it's the two ever so mischievous. You got to like this horse's form. Winner of his last two. Broke his maiden over a sloppy track at Churchill. After that, he finished second. And he won a Lamas race at Saratoga. And last time out on a stakes race, Churchill by three and a quarter. He's been the favorite in all five of his career races. Out of five races, he has three wins. In two seconds, he's trained by Brad Cox. He should be close to the lead in this one. You're getting five to two on a two-horse ever so mischievous. I will use the two-horse on my tickets. Two to one is the three accretive. Last time out, he finished second to Cody's Wish. Out of six races, he's got three wins in two seconds. I tell you, he keeps good, good company. In the second race in Amsterdam, finished second to Gunite. Then he ran an H. Allen Jerkins. Took on Jack Christopher and Gunite in that one. After H. Allen Jerkins, he put up together two nice wins. And as I mentioned, he finished second in the Vosburg against Cody's Wish last time out. I ran Ortiz. It's back aboard. Getting two to one on the three horse. I will use the three horse on my tickets. At three to one is the four horse film star. He should be forward in this race. He's kept a pretty nice record this year out of ten races, three wins. Six seconds. And his wins have come gate to wire. You know, he clearly likes to lead. Last time out, finished second to Xander. Now, this race is at a mile. He does have a win at the mile, a couple seconds as well. To me, I, I think his preferred distance is longer than a mile. His other wins have come at a mile of 16th and a mile and an eighth. You're getting three to one on a four horse film star. I will use film star on my tickets. Look at the five horse, the six to one is Dr. Ardito. He loves this track. Six races, he's got five wins, and he loves the distance. Out of seven races, he has five wins. I don't know what happened to him last time. He didn't show up at all for that race at Parks. Taking a step up in class here. Trade my Chad Brown getting six to one on Dr. Ardito. I will use Dr. Ardito on my tickets. Look at the six horse at 10 to 1. Swift Shore. He's looked really nice his last two since adding blinkers. A couple of impressive wins. Uh, he's stepping up in class here. He should be forward in this one as well. He does have a win at the track. Getting 10 to 1 on a 6 horse Swift Shore. And at 15 to 1, this is a 7 business model. Yeah, he's taking a step up in class as well. He's going to have to step up his speed figures to compete against these. You're getting 15 to 1 on a 7 horse business model. And to close out the fearless 8 horse at 30 to 1 synthesis, I do not like his form at all. In his last three races, he's finished last all three races. Getting 30 to 1 on 8 horse synthesis. 
Now, these are the horses I'm using on my tickets. I'm using ever so mischievous, accretive, Dr. Ardito, and film star. Horse I'm going to pick to win. I'm going to go with Irad, Chad Brown. I'm going with the three horse, accretive. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know who you're picking in this race. Stay tuned for my Breeders' Cup analysis. Good luck.